as much as I love this 2000 Road King Classic, now that I have the 2024 Road Glide, it really makes you think. Does it make sense to have two bikes? Well, you're probably wondering after that opening a bunch of different things if you follow my channel. And um, this is really a hard one to talk about, especially after some of the things that I have said um, about this 2000 Road King Classic. But here goes, let's talk about it. So, as you may or may not know, if you're new to the channel, I have this 2000 Road King Classic, goes by the name of Duke. And I also have a brand new 2024 Road Glide that I absolutely love. And you've probably seen enough of it because I've been doing video after video on that bike and really have not been on the 2000 Road King Classic much. And I guess that's part of what's been driving me to think about something. Um, yeah, you're right. That's it. Um, so let me start by saying there are tons of advantages to having two motorcycles. I'm glad I have two. I don't apologize for having two. I worked hard for them. And um, it's, it's great to have two bikes, especially one that um, is more of a around town. I know you can tour on this thing. Um, but I normally, when I'm out kind of doing what I'm doing today, just going for an hour or two, right? I am taking the, the Road King Classic and I'm touring with the Road King, which is just an amazing, amazing motorcycle. They're both amazing motorcycles. And it is so nice to be able to have that um that option right but with that also comes a couple things one is of course it's double the insurance double the operating costs double the maintenance the extra space it takes up in the garage there are some downsides to having uh, um two motorcycles and if if you know, and again, have followed me for a year or so, I used to have three motorcycles. I also had a Kawasaki KLR650 that I traded in as part of the deal on my 2024 Road Glide. So it just took me down to the two bikes. Um, and, man, this is so hard to talk about. It's hard to keep my train of thought. i got to be honest with you. Focus, Bodie, focus. Let's talk about the king. Um, and it is now the middle of july and i have rode this road king three or four times now been traveling for business not riding as much as i like i went on one long trip with some buddies of course i took the road glide for that and um it was um a riot but i'm more and more i've been thinking the more and more like i'm riding this three or four times so let's move on to part of the thinking so I have been missing riding off-road um, not dirt biking not anything like that but a little more adventure riding which the KLR 650 was really really actually good for um, in hindsight I may not have gotten rid of that motorcycle um, and I guess to top off what I've been thinking, I was watching Jess of her two wheels. Um, I happen to like Jess and I happen to like her channel. I know it's not everybody's flavor, but uh, I like her. I think she's a good person. I like her stuff. And uh, so she just recently bought a 2024 Pan America. Yeah, that's right. I said it. I know that people hated the Pan America or loved it. Some people had it for a while, then it had problems and they got rid of it. I got a good buddy Bronco ride that has one. He loves it. There's ones for sale, used that you can get. And the Pan America, as I think about it, would serve two purposes for me. It let me get on the off-road, if you will. And also, it would let me... Um, take it uh, anywhere I wanted to go, right? If I want to go on the interstate, tour, whatever I want to do with it. So it really does fit a couple good purposes. 
By the way, if you move to Michigan, realize you're going to pay a lot of taxes. And the roads are really, really going to suck. This is my public service announcement for those of you thinking of coming to Michigan. Um, so, you're all saying, what the heck does that mean, dude? I sat down for an evening and I really thought about... Now, this is after I have said that I would never trade this bike in ever, ever, ever. Matter of fact, I want Mrs. I wanted Mrs. Bodine to bury me on it. That's how much I love this bike. But of course, I don't ride it anymore. Um, and I have had a thought about getting a Pan America. Maybe used, probably used, um, just to get that itch that I have uh, back with the off-road stuff. And to do that, and I don't want three motorcycles for a lot of the reasons I talked about earlier, I have considered trading or selling my 2000 Road King Classic Duke. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Deep breath, everybody, deep breath. Some people right now are hitting the unsubscribe button. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey, you know the roads may suck? Well, we got these really cool roundabouts. I don't know if you guys like them. People think they suck. I like them, especially when you got a motorcycle. Look, you can just lean it all over. You can do what you want with it, right? It's fun. I like them. Um, plus, when I drive my truck, I just drive over the middle. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So, thinking about that itch and thinking about how I do that, the Road King, because I don't ride him as much, had to come into play. And then, I woke up from that seriously, seriously, stupid, stupid dream of selling my Road King Classic. Yep. I'm going to be buried on this motorcycle. I don't care if I if I get to get a back scratcher for that itch. I'm not going to sell this bike. I love it. It's amazing. It sounds great. You know what? You go to uh, anywhere where there's a bunch of bikes on my 2024 Road Glide and it's in pearl white, so a lot of people are going, nice bike. But I'll tell you what, when I ride this one, there's more people that talk about this bike than that brand new, really expensive one. So, no, I'm not going to trade it in ever. Um, did I think about it? I did think about ways to get a Pan America, and this would be one of those options, but I realized that, no, nah, that can't be an option. I have to think of something different. And Pan American maybe is not the answer. Maybe I do go back and just pick up something else. Mrs. Bodine will freaking kill me. She doesn't know about this. Don't talk to her. Don't suggest it. She's too busy to watch my video. Is I mean, this didn't ha this video just did not happen. So, those of you that have been staying and listening in, I appreciate that. Um, the love I know many of you have for Duke uh, isn't anywhere close to what I have. Um, but I'll tell you what, I do got to find a way to get that itch out. And maybe I just need to take some cow or take a shower and put some cream on it or something. It'll go away. I don't know. But Duke stays. Thanks for uh, listening to my confession. Uh, I feel so much better now that I told all of you. And uh, I promise... I will not not go down that stupid, stupid roll road anymore. It was really a dream, right? I really couldn't have been thinking about it. it. Had to be a dream. Bad dream. Good dream. Oh man, I love the country, but I gotta say it stinks out here. It'd stink if I got rid of my motorcycle too. Thanks for checking in, folks. I appreciate it. Y'all be safe out there. Let me know. If you would have been done with me if I got rid of the Road King. If you were, I'd be disappointed, but I'd understand. The Road King and Bodine 52, they're like besties, right? That's right. All right, folks, we'll see you soon. Be safe checking a friend. We'll talk to you in the next one. Bye bye. Don't worry, buddy. You're not going anywhere.